In the previous video, we explained how we can silence a specific gene by interfering with the messenger RNA. So we were preventing the production of certain gene. But in CRISPR, we will target DNA instead of mRNA and induce double strand breakage. Now, in contrast to RNA interference, CRISPR is not a naturally occurring process within our bodies. So let's talk about the structure of CRISPR-Cas9 and its origin. CRISPR machinery consists of CRISPR RNA or CRRNA, RNA sequence complementary to the targeted sequence of interest. Tracer RNA acts as an attachment between CRRNA and Cas9. Cas9 acts as molecular scissors. Well, now we know the structure of CRISPR. Where did it come from? It is a defense mechanism found in some bacteria against viruses. When a virus infects a bacterium, it injects its DNA or RNA through bacterial wall. The CRISPR system in bacteria cuts a segment of the invading DNA and integrate it into the bacteria genome at CRISPR locus. This integrated segment is called spacer. When the bacteria encounter the same virus again, the CRISPR is transcribed into long RNA molecule, which will be named CRISPR RNAs or CRNAs. CRNA will bind to tracer RNA, then it will guide Cas9 protein to cut matching sequence on the invading DNA. In humans, CRISPR-Cas9 can be programmed to bind and cut at a precise location in the genome by designing a guide RNA to match the DNA sequence of interest. gRNA mimics CRRNA and tracer RNA found in bacteria. In order of Cas9 to work, it must attach to PAM sequence, which ends with double G, so that must be taken into consideration when designing gRNA. Cas9 and gRNA are introduced into cells via vectors like plasmids or viral delivery systems. Now, after double strand breakage, our natural reaction is repair. There are two main repairing systems, non-homologous end joining and CJ. Directly ligates broken DNA ends without referring to a homologous template. This is an error-prone process because it can result in small insertions or deletions at breakage site, which can lead to gene knockout or loss of function mutations. This mechanism is active more during G1 phase. 2. Homologous Directed Repair HDR. This is a more preferable repair process. Here, there is a homologous DNA sequence to be used as a template, allowing for more accurate correction of the repair. This mechanism is active during phase S and G2. Synchronization cells to these phases can increase HDR efficiency by using specific chemical agents. Now for approved CRISPR-based therapeutics. Castrovy is a treatment agent for sickle cell anemia that got FDA approved on late 2023 as the first ever CRISPR-based treatment. The treatment involves several steps, which will start by stem cell collection from patients. Two, the collected stem cells will be edited ex vivo by using CRISPR-Cas9 that target BCL11A gene to reactivate fetal hemoglobin production. Three, modified cells will be tested for safety. Before infusing the new edited cells, patients will receive a conditioning therapy or myeloablation, which usually involves reducing existing bone marrow cells and create space for new edited cells. After that, patients will receive edited cells by an IV infusion. Isn't that fascinating? Imagine what other diseases that could be cured using CRISPR. That's all for CRISPR. Coming up on next video, CAR T cells, how they are engineered, and why are they considered a game changer in fighting cancer?